Today I'm going to go over the difference between intuitive eating and flexible dieting. First and foremost, both have their time in place and more often than not, I will introduce intuitive eating after a client has been comfortable and is really good with flexible dieting and working around macros. So flexible dieting is when you have a set of macronutrient guidelines to follow for your proteins, carbs, and fats, and add any foods into your meal plan or your days of eating to fulfill those macronutrients. This is a great way to learn more about what is in certain foods, which proportions of macros work best for your body, and it also helps you develop a better relationship with food, especially if you are somebody who has had a previous eating disorder or a bad relationship around food. When my clients are macro counting or flexible dieting, I always say that 90% of the time, you should be centering your meals around whole foods, lean proteins, a lot of healthy fats, array of nutrients to help support your goals because whole foods are the best foods for your body. They are minimally or if not even processed and they can be better absorbed and utilized by your body. However, there is that 10% where it is your birthday and you do want a slice of cake. You do want a little bit of wine to celebrate a graduation or something memorable that you want to spend your calorie money on. And of course, there is a time and a place for everything and that's where that 10% comes in majority of the time you want to be centering your meals around whole foods but of course giving you some wiggle room for it to become a lifestyle is super important as well when you do have those days where you want to incorporate um, a scoop of ice cream into your macros, you will find that you are a little bit more hungry because Oreos do not have the same fiber profile as berries do. They do provide carbs and fats. However, you know, the whole foods, berries or nut seeds will keep you fuller for longer because of the complex carbohydrates in them and the fiber. Flexible dieting is also a great way to incorporate some things that you are craving. So if you feel that you want like an Oreo or something, instead of having 10 and satisfying that craving, you can have one that fits within your calorie budget, your macro budget, and still feel full and satisfied throughout the day because you've hit your protein, fat, and carb needs. What if you've been doing macros and you're still not seeing the results you want? If you're looking for fat loss, you may be counting your macros in a calorie deficit, but you're still seeing like a plateau week to week. Well, maybe you're not even in a caloric deficit to begin with, right? And that's where my expertise would come in. And if you're a new client, I need to see how you're tracking those macros, what kind of foods you are filling with those macros, because choice of food matters so much. Like I said, your body processes whole foods the best and they can get the most out of them, right? So it's really evaluating if you even are on the right track and eating the right amount of food for your goal. Let's talk about intuitive eating. So intuitive eating is the absolute pinnacle when it comes to food and food choices, okay? It requires you to understand what foods work best with your body, what proportions of food you need without measuring, without anything. You need a good understanding of your hunger cues. You need a good understanding of your bad habits as well. If you are somebody who is super stressed, and you are intuitively eating and you know that you're a stress eater, well, you better know that you're probably going to be snacking a lot, right? But if you're somebody who's flexible dieting, who's weighing out their foods, who has macros to hit, and you are undergoing that stressful situation, macros gives you a boundary and a parameter, and it may highlight some of your bad habits because you only have certain macros to play with, right? You don't have room to just keep snacking on the lace chips going back and forth from the kitchen to your desk, right? And that's where the two can kind of coincide is that intuitive eating, you need a good understanding of your bad habits, of your habits, but the flexible dieting can help you recognize that as well, especially in the times where you are most vulnerable. That's why I think macro tracking is a good step into intuitive eating. 
you get a good sense of what portion sizes look like. And then from there, when you have a lot of experience, you can then take the scale away and then maybe test it out yourself. This is why I believe that flexible dieting is a good step into intuitive eating because you get a good understanding of what your portion sizes should look like for your specific goals because who knows, maybe you need more food, maybe you need less food, but I would suggest you start with at least a year of macro tracking to get a hang of it and then slowly transition into an intuitive eating approach where you know you are tracking like three days per week having one meal out see how you do with your self-control you can also start to just count your overall calories not necessarily your macros maybe just your protein and calorie goals and then from there you can slowly wean off that food scale and then giving yourself a little bit more trust if you are just jumping into an intuitively eating, how do you know if you're fueling your body properly? How do you even know you are eating the right amount of food and types of foods for your specific body? That's it for me, guys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Bye.